Hello and welcome back to our activities at uh, home. So this is Stay Home and Grow Your Own. Uh, looking at the table in front of me, you'd probably think that we we're going to be doing a bit of baking because we've got lots of items that have come out of the kitchen. But this just goes to show you can do your own bits of growing at home with very limited resources that you can gather from the kitchen. You are going to need compost and you are going to need seeds, but as we've mentioned in previous episodes, you can get compost and seeds from some of the supermarkets. So when you're going doing your infrequent essential shop on a weekly basis, is you can pick those up. So I've managed to salvage. This is a mushroom carrier. This was using some fruit, carrying some fruit. So this is going to be our top for our uh, propagator. Got some compost, make sure it's peat free. And today is the start of peat free April. So make sure that when you are buying your compost that it is peat free. So. First thing is, I'm going to load up the container until it's nearly full and then just evenly spread that compost around with your fingers. Then I'm going to use the flat bottom of the sugar jar just to firm that compost in, just press it down a little bit. Not too much, just making the surface flat. And today I'm going to be sowing some salad leaf. So seeds into my hand and then gently just pinch those seeds in between your fingers and evenly spread them around into your container. Now I have made some holes in the bottom of this container so make sure when you're doing that that you're very careful either using the sharp end of a pair of scissors or a knife is just put some holes in so that the water will drain out. Okay so now I'm going to use colander, a bit of compost in and just wiggle that about until the compost starts to cover. Now if you're finding that's difficult to do, what you can always do is pinch the compost between your fingers and just ease it over the top of the seeds, just breaking it up so it's not too long. Okay. As you can hear in the background, the dog has just spotted somebody walking past the front of the house. So we'll say good morning to Teddy. Good morning, Teddy. So we've now covered that. Again, with my sugar container, just press it down. And then we've got some labels. So if you've got old yogurt pots, you can cut the top off carefully with a pair of scissors and make some little strips. And I've written the name of the seeds on there. Or if you've got some lollipop sticks, little wooden sticks, you can use those. Label into the side. Put the cover over the top. <clears throat> and then what I need to do is do a little bit of watering. So if I could put that into uh, a tray of water, so you could use something like a baking tray, just sit it in the water until the water comes through the holes that we previously made to uh, moisten the compost and put it on a windowsill where it's going to get some bright sunlight and hopefully within about 10 to 15 days you should start to see those seedlings come through and what we will hopefully arrive with in the end is some nice healthy lettuce seedlings which we can either eat straight from the tray or like these which we're going to show you on a later video is how to prick them out uh, so they grow into more mature plants. So as I say that's our activity for today Lots of stuff that you can find around in the kitchen uh, Enjoy yourselves keep safe and as we've said stay at home and grow your own and um, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye. Bye